All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about six supplements that actually work. So let's dive right in. Hey guys, welcome to Nutrition Library where we take an evidence and wellness-based approach to supplementation and nutrition. If you are new to the channel, do me a huge favor and hit that big old red subscribe button that's below this video as well as that thumbs up so that you can stay up to date with all of our future content. Thank you so much. All right guys, so let's just go ahead and jump right on into it with our first supplement on the list today and that is fish oil. Now, I don't know how this happened, but apparently this has become somewhat of a controversial issue to say that fish oil is an effective supplement. However, fish oil is literally the second most researched natural compound that exists. And the evidence is overwhelmingly in favor of fish oil's ability to improve blood lipid profile, improve cognitive performance, and decrease just general inflammation. Now, the common opposition that is usually brought against fish oil, which to be quite frank, is a concern with really crappy fish oils, but the the opposition that is brought up against fish oil typically is that it spoils during the manufacturing process as well as during the shipping process and even after you ingest it. And proponents of this idea would essentially tell you because of its spoiling in all of these different places that it's essentially useless to take. But my big question for anyone that ascribes to that idea is if that is true, why are we seeing such fantastic results in so many clinical trials? Now, I say that to say that according to just the the breadth of evidence that we have in just so many clinical trials that we have that that even pharmaceutical companies are trying to get in on this in order to produce high quality fish oils in order to sell them as pharmaceuticals and so there is some merit to uh, taking fish oil in order to improve uh, markers of inflammation uh, blood lipid profiles as well as cognitive performance the biggest issue is just finding a good source and if you are able to find a good source uh, I do qualify fish oil as uh, one of the, literally the one of the top two supplements in their effectiveness, which is why it is number one on our list today. Now, the second supplement on our list today is creatine. Now, creatine is actually the number one most studied natural compound that I am personally aware of. And again, the evidence is overwhelmingly in favor of creatine's ability to increase lean mass, power output, as well as general health. Now, creatine is intricately involved in the production of energy at a cellular level, which is why it is so reliably able to increase both physical and mental performance. Now, because it is so effective at increasing lean mass, creatine is a super popular uh, supplement within the bodybuilding community, but because of its other health promoting properties, I do classify creatine as uh, one of the most effective supplements in existence that pretty much anyone can benefit from. All right, so the third supplement on our list today is a multivitamin. Now, this one has recently become somewhat controversial as well, and the evidence is fairly clear that a multivitamin probably won't extend your life or prevent any diseases, but that does not mean that they're not effective. And now, as you can see in this diagram right here, it is fairly clear that most Americans are not meeting their daily requirements for almost any micronutrient. Now, the issue with this is that your body requires vitamins and minerals for thousands of enzymatic processes in your body in order to operate properly. And the issue with this is when you do not consume enough of these vitamins and minerals, your body doesn't operate properly. 
Shocker there. Now, studies have repeatedly shown that multivitamins have the capacity to, uh, when correcting a deficiency, have the capacity to correct mild to moderate mood disorders as well as increase energy levels. Now, again, this doesn't mean that it's going to extend your lifespan or prevent disease states, but if it is going to expand your health span, I do consider a multivitamin one of the top supplements that anyone should consider taking. Now, some of the more well-studied micronutrients include things like zinc and vitamin D as well as magnesium and vitamin C um, and some of the B vitamins as well. And I do think at this point it would be safe to say that a multivitamin does have the capacity to improve your health, especially when correcting deficiencies or inadequacies. Now, the fourth supplement on our list today is whey protein. Now, this one isn't really necessary as a supplement. However, it is very effective. Whey protein has been repeatedly shown to increase both uh, muscle protein synthesis as well as lean mass. Now, there's really only two things that your body requires in order to build muscle, and that is a training stimulus, as well as adequate protein. And whey protein seems to be an extremely cheap, effective, and convenient source of protein to meet adequate protein needs. Now, to be fair, any protein source is going to increase your daily intake of protein and therefore increase muscle protein synthesis. However, it does appear that whey protein, because um, of its ability to break break down so quickly within the gut does have a more acute ability to increase muscle protein synthesis when compared to other protein sources. All right, so the fifth supplement on our list today is an herb known as ashwagandha. Now, for those of you that have never heard of ashwagandha, um, ashwagandha is an herb that hails from India that has been used for thousands of years to reduce the effects of stress on the body. And recent research suggests that it is remarkably effective at doing so. Study after study has shown the ability of ashwagandha to alter not only the perception of stress, but also the clinical uh, hormonal markers of stress within the body. And so when you pair ashwagandha's ability to lower the effects of stress on the body with its numerous other health benefits from heart health to uh, muscle and cognitive performance. Um, ashwagandha is one of the most potent herbs on the planet. Now our last supplement on our list today is garlic. And now some of you might be surprised to learn that garlic isn't just a tasty seasoning in the kitchen, but it's also one of the most potent herbs when it comes to heart health. Study after study shows the ability of garlic to uh, not only lower triglyceride levels, but also to improve uh, the markers of cholesterol, so raising HDL cholesterol and lowering LDL cholesterol while also lowering total cholesterol on top of its ability to also lower blood pressure. But there you have it guys, the six most well-researched compounds um, and most effective supplements that you guys can integrate into your life to some degree in order to meet your health goals. If you have any questions about any of these, specifically about what kind to take, uh, I didn't have time to kind of get into all the different nuances of these different supplements, but if you have any questions about them in particular, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, remember as always to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.